This is my portfolio, bamboo custom made uh, portfolio that I got from Clo Portfolios. They make incredible portfolios. This is uh, 11 by 14. I've talked to them, they can do custom sizes, but it's screw post has these uh, screw post hinges on it. Uh, they screw into here, here at the back. I can undo these screws. I can take these images out. The importance of that, the significance of that for me is that when I go and have a meeting with a potential client, I can customize the images that I take to them. You could do this with a digital portfolio a lot easier, create a bunch of portfolios, only show what you want. Zero times, zero times that I have pulled out my print portfolio have people not wanted to see it. People love this. People absolutely love this print portfolio. You know, you have these beautiful images, 11 by 17 printed out. These are all held in by these uh, plastic hinges, adhesive strips that go onto the back of the image. I don't know if you can see that. It adheres to the back of the print. People love looking at my print portfolio. It is impressive, not just the work, but the, the portfolio itself. But I want to talk about like how I go about printing my portfolio. This back here is an Epson Stylus Pro 3880. It belongs to my friend Eva, but if you look back on my videos, it's been sitting here for almost a year. She doesn't need it back at the moment, and when she does, it will go right back to her. I actually was just uh, visiting her yesterday. It's in great condition and excellent hands. Trust me. So I print on this paper. This is the Epson Hot Press Bright Signature Worthy Series. It's $105, 13 by nine, uh, what they would call a super A3 size paper. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful matte paper. This was recommended to me by my colleague, Matt Barnes, who, if you're a photographer in Southern Ontario, you probably know who Matt is. Pete McKinnon did an entire video at Matt's studio. So it comes like this, very well protected. And the paper is uh, gorgeous. It is thick. This is what I printed my gallery show on. Every, all the images look fantastic. So I use that, I print my work, I take a portfolio, use adhesive hinge strips so that I can customize the images that I take to show that client based on the kind of work that they typically do and the clients that they typically have. I have new work that I wanna print out and put in the book. I just print it out, cut it up to size, put it in the book. My images are 10 by 13 on 11 by 14, but the paper I have to cut by hand. If you don't have a paper cutter, go to the library. What I also do is I have uh, a couple of these when I go to see potential clients and these are full of full of my work. These are images that don't yet have adhesive strips on them. If the book is too thick, I will take these. One of the things I'm considering doing is having these as uh, a leave behind that I can leave with the client. I've got all these different types of images of all my different work. And again, just allows me to customize a portfolio, right? See, all these images look very different. <laughs> again, I think I have two images. It's just one image, the paper's so thick. Uh, I love this shot right here. This is a great shot. Keep those in a separate box, protected. Now you might be tempted to go to Costco or something like that. I have some images here that I printed at Costco. See, the problem is they are on luster paper. You can see it reflecting the light back. Uh, very hard to see if there's glare. The image quality is okay on some of them. You have to be really uh, careful. Dark images can sometimes print okay, but then you have images like this shot of Emo Phillips, all the details gone in the hair. Everything's, got this This is garbage. I don't even know why I'm holding on to this anymore. That print is horrible. If you don't have access to a printer, use a professional photo lab, fine art, matte paper. If they have uh, Epson Hot Press Bright, that's great. If they don't, Canon makes equivalent papers. Hanamule makes equivalent papers. Fuji makes equivalent papers. There's a lot of paper out there that is equivalent to that. If you're talking to a professional photo lab and you say, I want Epson Hot Press Bright, if they don't have it, then they'll say, oh, well, we have this. It's it's the same. But when you look at the back here, you'll see it says 18 mil, 330 grams grams per meter squared. So that's the weight. They should know it. They, if they don't, they have Google, they can look it up. Hot Press Bright makes your images look fantastic. If you don't have access to a great quality photo printer, go to a professional photo lab. If there isn't a professional photo lab near you, find an online photo lab like uh, White House Custom Color, Miller's, GTA Imaging here in Canada. You'll probably have to register as a professional photographer to be able to use the lab. So print portfolios are impressive. Use them, impress your potential clients, show them that you are a professional who's not just putting a portfolio together, an iPad or a tablet. Get it done in your style. This is bamboo. I don't know if you can tell, but it's cut out. 
embossed, engraved, whatever you want to call it. People love looking at a printed portfolio. I think I've said that a billion times. So that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please uh, subscribe, turn on the notifications, hit like, share this video with your colleagues. Sharing it and, and hitting like are, are the best things that you can do to help me out. Thanks for coming by today. Have a great day. It's gorgeous outside. Get on out. Take care.